Welcome back. We're on to the next video for the E36. Today is suspension. So, as you see, we have a box here and we have our car. So we need to, as you can see, get this thing a little bit lower to the ground. Um, it's a little too high. Well, actually it kind of sits good in the rear, but a little too high in the front. And if you can't tell, our suspension is pretty blown. Um, real bouncy um, and rides like a boat. So we hooked up with, as always, our channel sponsor guys, Max Speeding Rods. Got ourselves a set of the T7s. You've seen us review these before. You've seen us install them before on the M3. And now they are going on the 323 IS project car. Not only did we get the coilovers, but we also grabbed a set of their rear control arms. So these things are pretty beefy. Got some nice adjustment, nice powder coat on them, as always. So these are gonna be the rear control arms on the rear. So we will install those once we get to the rear suspension. Right now, we're gonna start with the front suspension. And because my neighbor over there is being a, you know what? I no longer can leave the car on jack stands out here. I have to be back on wheels by the next day. So I have to do suspension in stages instead of being able to jack it up, pull everything off at once and put it all on. I have to do it in stages now. So we are gonna do the front suspension first, the easiest. So let's get the car jacked up, wheels off and start going through and taking off the old suspension and I'll show you what we got so we've got the wheels off car jacked up and our stock suspension uh, looks beat um, you can kind of see some rub in there kind of like that rubber's been gone for a while and uh, the bolts don't look too rusty um, but we're gonna pop them off and get this going so we're gonna pop off the bottom three bolts first and then we'll pop off the three up top and drop this thing down and swap out we'll set our or we'll set our suspension even on either side at first and then adjust it as we need it um, and see where that height gets us uh, on where it sits. We don't want it too low, but we also don't want it too high. Um, and while we're in here, we'll check the rest of the bushings to see if there's anything else that needs to be done while we're under here, because uh, we want this car to be solid. So I can tell this suspension has been on here for a minute because these bolts, even with this breaker bar, almost a, what, a foot and a half, two foot. I still have to put effort in and I, I loosened them a second ago and they're still hard to get off. So it's not gonna be as easy as one, two, three, but still gonna be, got them loose. That's a plus, but not as easy as I thought it was gonna be. So we got the bottom bolts out not as bad as i thought they were going to be they had some thread lock on them uh whoever did it must have done it from either the dealership or something because they were they still had like the factory thread lock on them um so all we gotta do is take off the top one and we'll do that one by one so this side and then that side and then we'll brace up the brake and rotor so that it doesn't just fall down um, once we get that taken off because this whole apparatus will drop um, And then we can take three bolts off of the top and the whole strut just falls through so The problems we run into when we Have a new car that we haven't actually worked on a lot like the m3 that we know 
we've touched every nut and bolt on this thing so we know how it goes on how it comes off how tight it is we are dealing with some rusty bolts up here um so i got all the bolts off of this but the strut won't break loose of the of the um knuckle and over here the top bolt won't come out of the strut it is so rusted that it is basically one and i've been beating on it but i just soaked it in some pb blaster and going to see if that's going to work we're going to try to get the other side off so we can get that strut on at least and then try to get this damn bolt off i can only pound on it so long before the neighbors get mad because i'm hammering out here so i need to get this done fairly quickly so let's keep going and hammer away so with a little manpower we got that strut done off now i gotta take the three bolts off the top and we can swap this strut out for the the new coilover so let's grab it and let's look at the difference between that one and the new one from max speeding round so let's compare the two as you can see first off it's way shorter than stock suspension spring is a lot smaller a lot more compact but if we just leave it like this you can see overall it'll already let's see let's line them up so they're even at the bottom you can see how much shorter they are these are going to be a fantastic upgrade the max speeding rod coilovers are a fantastic upgrade for your daily driver they ride comfortably they're 27 or 27 way adjustable 24 27 away adjustable at the top you can really get your adjustability out of these coilovers for a daily car they're going to be perfect to get this project sitting just right and riding so much better than the stock suspension we'll have a full review and driving video with these at a later date um, after we get them all installed and everything on but for now let's get these mounted up way easier to go in than those coming off so as you can see these go in just as well as the stock ones um if not it, well better i don't know why i'm saying same they're they're better they're significantly better um as you can tell they are significantly shorter um than the stock ones so we're gonna have to make some adjustments on this so that they're not so dropped because we're not trying to make this car slammed we just want the tire to run about right there we want a little bit of a drop but we still want daily functionality and look good so we're gonna adjust this down a little bit and get it closer to where we need and get this pushed back up so what we've done is we have adjusted i i didn't adjust the preload on the spring i'm not going to mess with the preload on the spring as it comes from uh max feeding rods what i did was i adjusted the housing length so i adjusted this length to get it a little bit lower so it's closer to the um so it's longer so that when we mount this up it gives us a more of a stock height once we get both sides on and get the car sit down on the ground and drive it around we'll then come back and adjust this again for our height so we'll see where our tire sits does it sit too high or does it sit too low and we'll adjust it so that we get it but we're gonna we're gonna give it a generic starting point get this all bolted up if you guys want a run through on everything about these coilovers and everything that uh these coilers have to offer i have a video on that i'll post it right up in the corner here and you guys can go check it out it gives a full rundown of the suspension everything about it the pros the cons the comparison from these to bc's these to stock so go check it out guys but let's get this all bolted up on this side so that we can jump to the other side and finish up so as you can see, we have uh, one side on. So you you can note that this has the bolt for the uh, sway bar. 
For the M3, this is obviously not an M3, does not have M3 sway bars, does not have, does not have M3 um, front control arms, so there is no sway bar. The sway bar is connected down here on the actual arm, and I noticed while we're doing this that we need new sway bar links, but that'll be something easy to do later. But this is all set up. We're gonna measure our distance right here and match it on the other one before we get it all up in but this side is done i'm excited to see what it looks like when we get it back down on the ground and see what our height is and everything so let's jump to the other side and finish it so that we can get this thing back down on the ground and see what we got Woo! 15 minutes later and this bolt is finally out oh this thing gave me some trouble we are gonna sand this bolt down because it's got some rust on it. Ugh. Bad, the weather feels good outside though. It's like 74, 75 right now. It feels fantastic. Um, so we're gonna sand this down, lube it up, and make sure that it goes right back in as good as it came out. No, better than it came out. Yeah. Don't understand why I didn't have this light on. This whole time i don't know why i was working with just that light oh, i'm an idiot sometimes okay now that we got this bolt cleaned up uh the end is kind of because we um hammered on it but we'll send it um with a nut and re-thread that little end but let's get this off and strut out and those off at the top so we can get the new strut in. But let's adjust this strut first. We gotta adjust this one to match the other side. You know what I, what, what I hate about stock struts? Everything. Uh, coilovers, ready to go in. I'll adjust it, tighten down. All we gotta do is slip it back in and hook it up. So let's. Let's get it on so we can get this down and on the ground so we can see what it looks like. So before we try to get a light on this thing. There we go. Before we put this back in, I'm running some sandpaper through the knuckle to clean up that uh, where that bolt went in. And then I'm gonna grease it so it won't rust or anything. But that'll clean up that hole so that we can actually get our, our bolt back in there. Um, but eventually this knuckle is pretty rusty. You can see our steering arms are pretty rusty and our sway bar links are pretty rusty. So those will all need to be replaced eventually. Um, here in a little bit. Like that bolt, you can see that bolt, that bolt needs to be gone. Um, it doesn't look like a lot of this front suspension has been touched in a while. So we are going to, once we get the coilovers on, then we're going to go through periodically and change out all of these bushings. Max Speeding Rods has a lot of stuff for the front of this car. Um, they also have some power steering lines and hoses, which we will um probably snag as well because our hoses are pretty old and they look like they're seeping so we'll replace all of that and get that upgraded as well from them but we have a ton of stuff from them um that we need to still get but coilovers were the first thing on our list and then we had to evaluate what else we needed so once we get these installed We'll go through and put a parts list together with them, and we'll get all of those parts here. Um, so, we got everything put in. Let's bolt this back up and get this thing back down on the ground, guys. I'm curious to see what, how it sits. If my height adjustment's kind of okay, or did I overshoot it and make it too low? Well, both sides of the max speeding rods coilovers are on and you can definitely tell that that wheel is way higher up in that wheel well than it was 
So now that everything's tight, one thing, we screwed the bolt on the top. Um, we're gonna have to take it back off and we're gonna have to uh, re-thread it. But for now, um, we're not gonna do that. Car's not gonna go anywhere, we're not driving it right now. Um, it's, it just gets kind of leisurely driven right now. So um, we just won't take it anywhere till we can get a new bolt. Uh, which I'll just I'll order tonight when I go inside. And we'll just move it here and park it. It'll sit here for a day or two till we can get that finished. Um, but um, check, make sure everything's out of the engine bay. And close the hood. So we're done there. Gonna put this wheel back on. Gonna put the other wheel back on. And then we'll get this thing off the jack stands. And we'll be done with the fronts. The rear's and the rear arms are gonna be a completely separate video and a different day. Um, since we need extra time for that because we need to, um, we have to loosen and, and remove the diff to get those arms on. So we're also gonna check and see what we have to do for diff bushings in the rear. I assume if all the other bushings look like this, um, the bushings in the rear, are going to look like that so we'll probably need to do diff bushings at the same time so we'll pull the diff down change the bushings put the arms on put the rear coilovers on and refresh the rear end so at least it's got a solid rear end um because if we do flip this car and sell it we want the new owner to make sure that they have a solid car i don't want to sell somebody something that needs a lot of work or anything like that and like I said the neighbor might neighbor kid might be interested in it so if he is I want him to have a solid car and something that me and him can work on together whenever he needs to um, but let's get these wheels back on and get the car back down on the ground okay wheels are back on and kind of looks like the same height so we may be at stock height I might have raised up the Coilovers too much, but we'll see what happens once it's back down on the ground. Let's get our tools picked up and then we will drop this thing down. And it'll be step one of our suspension. Let's see what we got. So it goofed. Stock height. <laughs> I went no lower. <laughs> Uh, that's fine. They'll settle as well over the next couple drives, but we'll adjust these because we still have a hell of a gap. Um, but they're installed. That is literally the trial and error with suspension for like for that car and for this car. It's just figuring out where it sits best. Right now we haven't changed the rebound on the springs, so we'll just adjust the bottom up and we will get it sitting a little bit lower than what it is now. But thanks for watching guys. Like, comment, subscribe. This build is going and blowing. We have more parts coming. We have an alternator. We're gonna be doing a lot of detail work. I'm gonna do some step-by-step -step details, interior detail, a whole bunch of stuff on this car. Um, as long as, as, as well as finishing those wheels, getting tires on them, so we can get this car set up and planted and looking good. But thanks for watching this video. This is part one of the suspension for the E36 323 IS build. See you guys next video.